Duncan, I was on both DC Talk Jesus Freak cruise tour. Yeah, uh, yeah, cru- cruises, yeah. And the the first one was very special as a kid that grew up listening to Newsboys and DC Talk, all the DC Talk songs. It was like I only, I told Toby this. I said I almost got em- emotional when I yeah. heard the boys up there playing those songs. I like emotion came out of me. It surprised me. It like snuck up on me. And so the second Jesus Freak cruise, I was like. My kids were finally there, and I'm like, you guys are going to love this, blah, blah, But you guys played as well, and I told my wife after the cruise, I said, Jesus, uh, DC Talk was not the headliner at this time. I had never seen Newsboys United with Phil and Peter on right, stage. Right, And I said, the Newsboys show was the headliner of that second and I p- hope Toby doesn't hear this. Just don't tell Toby or Michael that or Kevin that. Okay. <laughs> let's, keep, let's keep it here amongst ourselves. Yeah, yeah. Let's do well, that. Because I had missed your guys' Tampa date of Newsboys United. Um, it was that same feeling of when I saw DC Talk the first time mm. on the Jesus Free Cruise. I had that same feeling about use Newsboys United yeah. where all of these songs made me almost emotional when I'm hearing Breakfast, when I'm hearing n- Entertaining Angels. I yeah. always tell Phil, yeah. I'm like, that is my favorite Newsboys yeah. song. Yeah, yeah. And to hear those, it was an amazing show. And I'm a tough critic. Yeah. It took me away. Yeah. It was just incredible. Well, even for me, I think I remember the first time we went into the rehearsal space, uh, we weren't sure whether it was going to work. We only booked a certain amount of shows just in case. (laughs) You know, we we thought it could and should, um, but we weren't sure. And I remember the first time, it was surreal because I, you know, Peter been out of the band for 10 years, uh, I think, Phil had been out of the van for 12 or 13 years. So, and it's not that we you don't want to hang. It's just that we're so busy doing what we were doing, kind of trying to rebrand the whole thing. And we um, we just went to work when Michael came on board. So I hadn't I didn't really seen the guys for that amount of time, which sounds bizarre. You didn't but hang, there's no hang time. Well, no, because well, Peter's, we're, we're, well, Peter's in Florida and, and Phil was doing his own thing. We were never home at the same time. And when I'm home, I really want to spend as much time with my family as I can. I'm not a guy that comes home and goes out when I'm home. Typically, I'm a bit of a stay stay at home body when I'm home. So um, I remember the first day and it's just looking across and seeing the boys and then looking over and seeing Peter and Phil. It was surreal for me. And then when we first uh, clicked into Shine and Breakfast and Antony Angels and and he reigns it it was bizarre i was like oh my i cannot believe i'm playing these songs again because yeah. I, I never thought i would and i think for the fans it was so great i was doing something i never thought i'd do but i think for the fans they were seeing a version of the band that they never thought that they'd see again mm. so it was this beautiful kind of love thing that was going on and still uh, the Greatness of Our God tour that we're going out in the fall here, it's going to be more of that where it's just this beautiful symmetry between old school, new sp- school, and it just works. Oh, it when you see the six of us on stage, it's not a competition. It's like, you know, one plus one equaling three. Yeah. It's like these two versions of the newsboys coming together. Yeah. And you were mentioning earlier DC Talk. I was a massive DC Talk when I was, you know, yeah. when you know when they were first started to hit. So... I know exactly what you're talking about, getting emotional when you're yeah. seeing that. And I've seen the same thing with newsboys. People maybe a little older coming up and say, you know, almost weeping, saying, guys, you have no idea what that version of the band has meant to me. They may not have necessarily connected with the with 2.0, mm. but 1.0 was their jam. Right. That was the memories that were made. So... We went, uh, we've done a couple of tours with United now and it's just been amazing. So yeah. I can't wait to get out there this fall and do it again. And I know that uh, a lot of people that haven't seen it, maybe even that have seen it, will want to come and see it again because it's probably, we don't know what's in the future, but it's, it'll probably be a season. Yeah. And then after that season's kind of run its course, which I think it will naturally. Mm-hmm. Um, there again, I don't know exactly what the future holds. Uh, I think we'll be going on and maybe not doing as much United stuff in the future, yeah. but then we might, who knows. Right. Yeah, there was a moment where Michael and Peter were singing a vocal together with their arm around each other, and nowhere in my mind did I think ever that's Michael from DC. Talk. Ever that you thought that would ever happen? It just felt like this is newsboy. Yeah, it, that's the weirdest thing. Yeah, and that a lot of people say that to say, well, it's it's newsboys. Yeah. It's it's these kind of two different versions, but Peter and Michael actually sound 
great together. Yeah. And that was what we weren't sure of too. It's like, yeah, are these different voices, they're gonna clash, they're gonna work. And then we kind of got in the studio and was just like, oh my gosh, this is just magic. Because yeah. Peter, uh, Peter kind of has a higher, right. higher voice. He can go quite high where Michael has, he's more of a baritone. He's got more of that kind of got beautiful, this kind of beautiful tone to his voice. Yeah. So together, and then you get Jody Davis, who's a, the guitarist, great singer, great backup singer. Phil Joel, probably one of the best, I mean, he can go high. Yeah. I mean, and Phil, I mean, get Phil and Peter and Michael and, and Jody together. And it's just, it just works. Yeah.